So today in the mail, I got the second piece of the telescope build that I'm working on. Um, it's going to be replacing the Celestron 5 SE. Um, that's a really great telescope, but I feel like I'm ready to go ahead and graduate into something a little bit more advanced. Um, so anyways, this is going to be the William Optics 32 millimeter guide scope um, that's going to go ahead and sit on top um, of the Zenith Star Z61. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it and see what we got. All right. So once we open up the top, looks like the William Optics product warranty card. And it's got some information about that. Uh, looks like it's a two year warranty. And it has some more information about that. Um, company policies on the back, a little bit more information about the repair policy and return and refund policy. And it looks to be nicely packaged. Little piece of foam on top here, we'll take that out. And there it is. This is the William Optics 32 millimeter Uniguide scope. Comes in a little wrapping. We'll go ahead and take that off. Ooh, it's very nice. Ooh, wow. I'm very happy with this. Yeah, this is really nice. It says Uniguide 32 by 120 millimeter on the bottom and it has William Optics on the other side. Um, it's got a really nice Vixen style mounting system. Caps on both ends. Very nice. So just to go over a few of the specs, um, it's 32 millimeter. The tube itself is 120 millimeters um, and has a focal ratio of 3.75. So this will just be perfect for guiding. Um, and what I'm gonna do is, let me turn the camera around here so you can see. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and mount it right on top of here. And it should just slide right in. Just like that. Tighten it up and it's not going anywhere. That's how it is right there. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. Um, so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to take this. This is a ZWO ASI 120 MCS. It's a planetary imaging camera. Um, so what I'm going to do for guiding is I'm going to end up taking this cap off and installing it into the guide scope. That way um, I can control it from my laptop um, when I'm out in the field and I don't have to manually mess around looking through the scope. 